Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Ali and I'm so excited to share with you CreateSuiter's latest update and that version is 3.4.1. The latest update include a feature that's actually a pack of content and it's called Boost Elements. And so first of all, you need to make sure that you're on the latest version. So be sure to restart your application if you have it opened up and you should be prompted to install the latest version to 3.4.1. But if you're having trouble updating to the latest version, uh, you can navigate to the website, which is download.createstudiopro.com. And from there, you can download the latest version and, re and then you can have fun creating. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. So if you're having troubles, again, you can navigate through the website and then easily download the latest version. Once you've done that and you started a new project, this is where you can find the new pack, right? You can simply just go to your studio and then you should be able to find boost elements as a new or brand new button that was added in there. Just click it and then you're gonna be able to see all the content available. And I wanna point out that all Access Pass members have access to everything that Create Studio provides or brings to the table. Unfortunately, standard users will only get 30% of the content. So if you're interested in signing up for All Access Pass to test it out and see how it can serve your creation and how it can boost your videos to take them to the next level, because you're going to get access to everything included in the software, as well as any upcoming uh, content. And that includes everything, basically. So features, uh, new content, characters, backgrounds, and everything that the team will create in the future. As long as you are subscribed to the All Access Pass membership, you will always be included in any additional content or features. And so let's go back to the uh, boost elements that that they have just released. So like I said, once you go in there, you can open up the drop, drop down menu and you're going to find eight different categories. Uh, these are social media, typography, titles, infographic, minimal scenes, interface, backgrounds, and transitions. The cool thing about these guys is that they are created entirely in CS, which means that they are not rendered videos that are coded in the program, but everything was manually created and imported into the software. This means you can easily edit any of the available content. You can just uh, um, adjust or modify the content exactly how you want. So let's say, for example, I'm looking for, you know, uh, the new back and animated backgrounds. And these, these are so beautiful, by the way, they're so beautiful. Uh, you can just grab the image, make sure you download the content first, and then you can drag and drop them onto the canvas. And you can see so this is an animated background, let me just press play and show you what it looks like. We have some floating circles right there. And it looks pretty cool. And like I said, the beauty of this is that I can adjust these colors exactly how I want. So I can easily do this while selecting my background and then I can go under settings and you can see all the colors that I have. I can just click on the color uh, button to be able to adjust the colors exactly how I want or I can open the group right there and get into the group and then I can adjust the color of each shape exactly how I want. So let's say I wanna adjust this one and I can go and open up the color settings right there. And then from there I can, you know, make adjustments. So let's say I want my first color. This is a radio color, by the way. So I can adjust the first color to be uh, green. Then I'm gonna click on the second circle right there. Then I'm gonna make it a little bit yellowish like that right here. Um, let's just make sure we have the correct color right there. Yep. And then I can go on to the next one and do the same thing. I'm going to open up the color settings. And then from there, I can, you know, make adjustments to this stuff and, and fine tune everything however I like. So let's just keep doing that right here. There you go, right? Uh, I'm not going to play much with colors at the moment. The goal is just to show you what the pack includes. So like I said, the beauty of this is that Everything is manually created in the software, which enables you to edit and modify everything exactly how you want. That's as far as uh, the animated background. So let's say, for example, if you're looking for social media engagement, right, in your creation, say you're somebody who creates content for your business page on Facebook or on Instagram, or maybe creating content on YouTube, well, you have a lot of stuff in there that will help you and serve 
your creation to grab attention and help people or help your viewers subscribe and engage with your content. So let's say, for example, if you're looking to create a subscribe button, you have it right there that you can include it in your creation while uploading videos to your uh, YouTube channel. Uh, you have stuff related to social media websites like uh, Facebook, Instagram, and stuff like that. So you have social media like this one, the emojis, right? These are so beautiful in there. Um, you have some likes and hearts, right? There are so many uh, stuff available in there. Uh, let me show you something else. So we have interface. The interface basically includes a lot of uh, creation or designs to do with interface, as in, you know, calls, recordings, icons, shapes, right? These are all interface designs that you can use in your creation to enhance your videos and take them to the next level. Next, you have something like the title. So if you're somebody who likes to uh, work with titles but don't have the time to um, adjust or create uh, titles in your videos, well, these are really cool and modern titles that you can use to create uh, videos with ease and grab people's attention. You also have uh, minimal scenes, so they have designed uh, a few scenes that you can use as well. Um, some of them are to do with mobile applications, and then you have other designs in there. So like I said, these are fully customizable that you can easily adjust and uh, uh, manipulate the way you want. So if I grab this design, for example, I can replace the uh, image of the lady right there. I can change the colors of my shapes. I can adjust the font. I can edit the text. I can change the background color. Again, I literally have um, access to modify the entire scene exactly how I want. So that's basically what the update is all about. It brings you 500 plus elements in order to make your videos much better and engaging. So be sure to update to the latest version. And again, if you have any troubles, check out the link in the description for you to download the latest version. And as always, have fun creating and I'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.